Welcome back, everybody. It's been a very, very long time, and uh, I know some of you guys have been waiting to see what happens next uh, in this Let's Play, but uh, believe me, I've been missing this just as much as you guys, because my internet has been, like, super, super stupid, and um, I just haven't been able to do anything, and it's, this day and age, it's the absolute worst to, you know, not have a stable internet connection, it's just... Just not a good feeling at all. But anyway, we're back and we're ready to roll. So we'll just uh, make sure that everything is in order. Um, what we might actually do is might get rid of these heavy cannons. We don't really need them anymore because our laser rifles can do that job anyway. So we'll go ahead and we'll go sell them. Plus, I'm actually really, really happy with the way uh, the auto cannons are performing. So we'll just get rid of them. And of course, we'll just sell our corpses as well. Oh, we've got a bit of armor as well. Yeah, and we've got the Illyrium going as well, so... Uh, hopefully we can get our, our next second tier armor very soon, which is next on the research tree line. Personal armor. Urgh. Okay, we're still, we're still waiting on that to complete as well. Now, I've got a couple of things to talk about. Uh, obviously, it's, it's been a while, and I've <coughs> kind of... Uh, need to catch up on a lot of things. Uh, one of the things was I noticed that a lot of people are still actually interested in joining the ranks of the XCOM project and they you know they want to you know, join all these guys here. Um, so if you are interested and you haven't done so already all you have to do is go to the recruitment video on my YouTube page uh, and you know just follow the instructions there on how to join. But what I'm going to do is, it's the recruitment is actually going to cl close on the 21st of August, so that's in about a week from now. Um, so if you haven't done that, make sure you do it by then. And of course, I may actually do another recruitment video a bit later on, towards the end of the game. But for now, we're just going to leave that that cut cut off line, the deadline at 21st of August. So if you want to join, that's how you do it. Just go find that video. Um, everything looks pretty good actually. Got our money, got our Sky Ranger set up, got our weapons set up, got our armor. Research and manufacturing is all fine as well, so we'll just go ahead and we'll just fast forward time a bit. Holy crap. <laughs> this is actually my very first base defense in this game ever. I don't even know what it looks like actually. Uh... This is a bit weird, actually. I'm not sure why this is happening. Is this like a common bug, or...? Well, it should be okay. We'll just put these all here. And... Can't be carrying too much stuff, so... I think I'll be primarily using my laser rifles with just a few auto cannons on the side, just for heavy weapons support. <laughs> So we just we don't need to carry around this ammo. Even these grenades, they're, they're just not strong enough. I should probably sell them actually. Now one of the things someone actually mentioned on my channel a while back was uh, there's a game called Xenonauts coming out and uh, apparently it's the true predecessor uh, to this game. Simply because it's like, I mean, for those that have done their research on the new XCOM coming out, there's a lot of changes um, compared to this game, which which I guess you could say aren't staying true true to this sequel as a sequel. Um, such as, you know, I guess the biggest thing that a lot of people were talking about is, I have no space left. I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. It's alright, I can probably just drop it on the first turn, it should be okay. There's not much I can really do. But yeah, Xenonauts, um, one of the biggest things that a lot of people have issues with is uh, the soldier limit. And you know, in the XCOM coming out in a couple of months, you can only have, what, four to six soldiers. Whereas in Xenonauts, which looks a lot more similar to this game, oh, sectoids. That means there's probably going to be cyber discs as well, which is bad news. That was actually a really bad time to get rid of my heavy cannons. Because apparently autocannons can't penetrate side disc armor in superhuman. 
we'll have to wait and find out. But yeah, I did look up some YouTube videos on Xenonauts, and it does look much more like this game, uh, even though it's not the official um, sequel to this game. It's like I guess we'd call it the unofficial sequel. But it does look a lot more similar to this game than the actual Firaxis version. Yeah, so as you can see here, um, the way I've laid up my base as on the very first video of this Let's Play, you can see it's actually coming in handy now because most of the aliens will spawn in these hangars and this uh, central hangar thing here. Um, However, in TFTD, sometimes they can actually spawn throughout randomly throughout the base as well, so I'm not sure if that's the case in this game, but uh, I should be careful just in case. But what I'll do is I'm going to kind of use this little hallway here and this little hallway here, because they kind of connect to the main areas as like a sniper, like a long sniper corridor. So I'll just hang back here where they can't really see me. Well, yeah, where they can't really see me. Let's drop some of this stuff so we're not so encumbered as well. Oh man, it's been a while though. It's been a while. I've been getting like withdrawal symptoms from this game. And uh, oh, for those that have been wondering, um, my Shining Force Let's Play, I, I know I haven't done that in ages. And uh, that's simply because I haven't. Um, I. I'm doing that as a combined let's play with my with my girlfriend and I haven't really uh, I'm at her house now but before I I hadn't seen her in a while so um, I'll be with her for a while so hopefully we can catch up and start doing more of that soon All right so just gotta make sure everything's in order uh, no one's standing out in the open and everyone's like not carrying too much crap um, Actually, that's probably a bad idea to be in this area here because the central thing is there. So we just kind of hang back in these doors. Let's play it nice and safe because we're up against cyber disks and, <laughs> well, probably the one of the hardest enemies in this game. The uh, Ethereals being a close second. Well, I guess it depends, really. Like, I mean, mind control is dangerous, but if you're prepared for the mind control, then it's just like facing normal sectoids, because they're so their armor is so weak, and they just die to one hit and almost every weapon. Whereas cyber discs, they're always a pain to take down, regardless of what difficulty you're in. All right, so it looks like we've covered everyone. We'll just end this turn and see how this goes. Yeah, this crap. Yeah, I think these these guys. Oh man, that's not good. Oh, completely forgot about mind control. Oh, this is going to be a real pain. Yeah, I'm just, it's my own guy right there. I should just stay steer clear from him. Um, okay, this room here is like a lot of doors, but I could kind of use them as my own protection as well, like hide behind th these walls around here. I think it should be a bit kind of safe. So we'll send a small team up here and we'll leave these snipers here. Um, yeah, we'll send some heavy artillery as well. And these, these two guys can kind of hang back. drop all this rubbish. Now ideally I want to put, put a few snipers on this corridor as well, but this guy's mind controlled so that's a bit of a problem right now. Uh, what I might do is I'll send them out around the long way. So Cryptic can go down here and do I have a guy up here? I guess I can see send Gene down there as well. 
Yeah, so in TFTD, sometimes they can spawn in your base randomly during the base defense. It seems like in, in XCOM, uh, this XCOM, that, that doesn't appear to be the case. So that's we're kind of in luck there. Crap. I think it was shooting at my mind control. That was the mind control guy, wasn't it? That's okay. I don't mind losing him then. Yeah, so if you're ever at the stage of the game where, like, um, you can... You don't... Wow. Eight enemies. Holy crap. Oh. I think this guy's pretty much dead. I can't really do much. Yeah. Can't really do much about that, fortunately. But what I do want to do is I want to send in some fodder to just open the open up this door so I can snipe them through. So I guess Lydia can do the trick. She's probably going to die from this though. Yeah, that's right. That's kind of expected. But the good news is we can just do this now. Come on. There's eight enemies, so he's, he's got to kill at least one. Um, he's got 60 time units, so I, I do want to crouch, but I think it would be better to take three sets of auto shots rather than crouch and take two. See how that goes. Oh, this is really, really not good. Uh, I'm gonna have to take care of this guy as well somehow. In fact, what I might actually do is I'll send Gene back up here. So these guys here are kind of stuck, but I don't know. I have a feeling that he's he's actually out of time units. So yeah, I think he'll be okay because they obviously need a few time units to move there. Oh, guess I was wrong. At least we got rid of him. Uh, Cryptic can be our sniper down this corridor. Alright. Um, I do want to move Sarge out, but... I'm just a bit worried that that's, those two cyber discs are going to get him. Maybe I have to move down one square. Yeah. Squeeze in a shot here. No, I'm not going to be able to take another shot and get behind cover, so I'll just hide for now. Um, what can I do? I'm thinking even like a heavy explosive might even do the trick. I mean, that's 32 plus 16. I should be able to throw it. Yeah, throw it. Oh, he can't even throw it. Great. Okay, that's fine. We'll just chill back for now. In fact, what we could actually do is maybe just get have another high explosive here ready uh, and just get ready to just run in and just, just bombard this area here because that's where they seem to be all hanging out. So hopefully they don't mind control any important people. Oh, I like that. It's bad news. I think he's over here, isn't he? Wow. What the hell was that? Okay, no fatal wounds, that's okay. Uh, okay, sectoid down here. What? Okay, I think they're actually coming at us, so... It might be best just to, like... Hang back and not advance too much until they until they stop coming at us. Whoa! Okay, that's probably the reason. Yeah, let's just get the hell out of there. That's not gonna work. Man, this is crazy. I I seriously am not prepared for this at one bit. In fact, I've got a guy up here doing nothing. It's probably not helping. Um, I don't think these auto cannons are going to do, do much because 
apparently older cannons can't penetrate um, the what you called the cyber discs. Oh, I can actually do this though. I completely forgot about cryptic. Sweet. I mean, they're all going to die from the heavy explosive, but can never be too sure. There we go. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Man, the aliens in this game are a lot more aggressive compared to um, TFTD. I don't even know how many guys I actually have left. So one, two, three, four, wait. I think I have about five guys left. This is insane. I'm going to have to be really, really careful. At least this guy's facing the wrong way. That's a good sign. One, two, three, four, five. So one. Oh, man. This is crazy. It's just going to be too dangerous for him to shoot. Let's just hang back. I think we sh if we just take him out with this auto cannon, it should be all right. Obviously, we'll just take out the close ones first because they're the more dangerous ones. Um, how's this guy going? Oh, I think the guy, a phenomenon, he got mind controlled. I think he actually killed himself. New. Yeah, I think, I mean, because they're so aggressive in this game, I think it might be best just to hang back. Let them come to us. Um, I'm going to need another explosive somewhere. He's got one, but is that a time unit? I think he panicked. Oh, whoa, I was not meant to do that. Ah, oh, keep making mistakes. This is, this is really, really hard, man. I'm actually kind of scared now. I might, I might, like, if I lose this base and it's pretty much all over. Um, I mean, I do have that second base, but it's got nothing in it. I'm not even that far into the game. Oh, what are you doing? Well, I mean, I've lost a lot of soldiers, so I don't really blame them for panicking, but it's not really helping. But at least he doesn't have any fatal wounds. Alright. Ah, oh, I was not meant to do that. Keep misclicking. Now, I know there's a bunch of guys up here, so I might just take a pot shot. If I can. Nah, no ammunition. Ugh. Oh, I need some more ammo somewhere. Um, shit, I'm really, really stuck. Not enough time units. Ah, oh, he panicked. Uh, 17 to shoot. Yeah, I think I can run in there, shoot, and get out. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm only going to be able to take a snapshot. Too many. There's simply too many. I, I don't think I can do this. And in fact, I might just send Squirtle over here because he seems to be the guy that's not panicking at all. So he's best sniping down this long hallway here, I think. Oh, small launcher. <laughs> he's naked. What the hell is he doing? Right, well, Sarge Dohan isn't exactly being helpful. Ah, where'd they all go? Okay, this is kind of weird. They've all just disappeared on me. Uh, okay, well, good news is there's a couple of high explosives here, so I could probably do something with this. Uh, 39 altogether, so I'll just prime it. 
hang back. Ugh, don't do that. Yeah, I'm just going to hang back. They're, they all seem to be coming at me. It seems to be the best approach for this. Oh, there's one. Okay, that's the guy with the small launcher. I'm not really too afraid. I think he actually shot last turn, so... Ah, oh, great. It's alright, we'll just leave him be. He's not much of a threat to us. He is, though. Jesus Christ, how many are there? I haven't even taken out any of the side discs yet. Alright, I've got to take out this guy. Okay, so that's one down. Uh, I've got a feeling that there's probably going to be someone up here. Around that corner there. Oh crap. That's a good thing I actually primed that grenade earlier. They should all be taken care of next turn. I think we'll just hang everyone else back for now. Can't afford to take any risks. Alright, so that will be a huge boost to morale because obviously every alien. Oh, what are you doing? Every alien that you kill is, is boost your own soldiers, but every soldier that dies, it's a opposite effect. Alright, um, how many guys do we actually have intact? Might kind of sneak up here a bit. Wait, where is he? Oh, I think that's... Yeah, he's naked, isn't he? Oh, but we've got no ammo. Come on. And that's the good thing about laser rifles, I guess. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah, Cryptic really has to get a new weapon. Just go up here, hopefully there's something up. Oh, shit. Where is he? Oh, okay, that's my mind-controlled guy. Okay, that's fine then. Yeah, that's everyone. I think we've only got about four or five guys left. Like, it's, it's kind of hard to tell when I've got some mind-controlled guys. And two panicked guys as well. Pretty much if Squirtle dies, it's, I think it's over. Because uh, he's the captain, and if he dies, I lose so much more morale than I already have lost. Oh, where was he? Oh, okay, there we go. So two cyber, two, two cyber discs and that guy there. <clears throat> oh, crap. Yeah, well, the thing is, I can't even run from this. If I run, my my uh, base is it's all over. I think I think I've actually lost the game here. I can't even seem to take down these these cyber discs. <clears throat> Oops. No one left. I think it's uh, two panicked guys and Squirtle. It's all up to them. Trash that one panicked guy. Let's solo this shit. Oh. Crap. Hopefully he didn't take any fatal wins from that. Oh man, he did. Well, my only chance is if Sarge actually stops panicking, that way I can actually heal him up.
No, oh, now it's in mind control. That's not helping at all. <laughs> I think it's over. I seriously think. Yep, yeah, that's it. I lost. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm, I'm freaking lost for words here. Seventeen killed, and there was still at least I don't know. I'd say at least ten of them left. I lost everything. That, that's completely screwed up. Like, no, nah. I can't do anything. I don't have a Sky Ranger. Don't have any soldiers. Don't have any equipment. That's over, folks. Sorry for being a bit anticlimactic, but um, it's part of the game. And uh, well, it was good. It was fun. Uh, but <laughs> Superhuman Iron Man is is in a completely different world to you know. I guess where I am right now, so maybe I'll try again in the future. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, it was a real pleasure. Um, and stay tuned. XCOM Thrax from made by Thraxis is just around the corner. Shining Force 2, and maybe I'll announce a few more games in between then as well. So, again, thanks for watching, um, and we'll see you guys soon.